the idea is started in 2012. I wrote a story and then uh, I shared it with Caetano. It, um, it was some of the elements that are in the film were in that version. Um, two families uh, dealing with change in their lives at that very moment when slavery, just after, some years after slavery had been abolished and the republic had been declared. So basically it's the Brazil, the democratic Republican Brazil that we know today. So the idea was to visit that moment where that uh, period, that era began, and to see how it has actually changed or how, how it worked, whether it worked or not. When we think about social structure in Brazil, we have to think about race. It's, uh, it's totally related and we wanted to, to think of that and to take a look at that, and, but not only about blackness, we have to say we really wanted to to deal with the idea of whiteness because there is this very false idea that uh, whiteness would be the, the neutral. This very uh, oppressive idea of what's neutral. Usually the neutral is the masculine, is the white, is the middle class or um, you, you know when, when you don't have to define a character in, in Usually in a, in a screenplay, when you get a screenplay to read, if you say a woman of 30 years old and you don't say she's black, usually you assume she's white, right. for example, as if it, uh, whiteness would be neutral and it's, it's, it doesn't make sense, of course. What this film portrays is a new way of perceiving and projecting a vision on Brazilian society, a vision that serves as a mirror for the Brazilian society itself, but it's also a projection of Brazilian society for the world as a whole. This comes of a privileged media, which is cinema. Brazilian cinema has projected at least two images that were stereotypes of uh, the Brazilian society. It has done it along the 20th century century. The first idea it put forward that w was that we live in a harmonious society. The second image is that we live in a violent society. Both are true. Brazil has its harmonies and its very violent wars. Brazil has its racism and a cohabitation among different races. Their story also is a feminine story. It is portrayed through the female characters they have conceived. And it goes to show that women represent continuity. This continuity and this work can only be possible if there's a cooperation between the feminine and the masculine. So there is no separation and there should, no be, should not be any kind of separation between the feminine and the masculine. And this film is proof of that. Thank you.